Hello, quantity surveyors and construction professionals. Welcome back to the Global Institute of Quantity Surveying YouTube channel. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started with BOQs, we've got something exciting lined up for you today. If you are tired of spending hours manually numbering your bill of quantities items, and let's be honest, who isn't? Then you are definitely in the right place. In this video, we are going to show you a powerful Excel macro that automatically numbers your BOQ items with just one click, saving you time, reducing errors, and streamlining your workflow. So grab your coffee, fire up Excel, and let's dive right in. First, let's take a look at a typical BOQ format. As you can see, each item needs to be sequentially numbered, A, B, C, D, and so on depending on the structure of your work sections and sub-items. Now imagine having to number all of this manually every single time. Tedious, right? That's where this macro comes in. We've developed a simple yet powerful VBA script that will intelligently apply the correct numbering pattern based on your structure. Let me show you how it works. First, open your Excel file where you've created your BOQ. Make sure your BOQ has the correct page set up as per your requirements. Next, go to the Developer tab in Excel. Click on Visual Basic to open the Visual Basic Editor. In the editor, you'll need to create a module under the sheet where your BOQ is located. To do that, right-click on the sheet name in the editor, go to Insert, and click on Module. This will open a Module Editor window where you can type or paste your macros. We've already created a fully functional macro for you, so you can simply copy and paste the macro code into this module editor. Once done, click the Save button in the Visual Basic Editor. Excel will then prompt you to save the macro in your file. Just click Yes to confirm. And that's it, you've successfully installed the macro in your workbook. Now it's your turn to run the macro. Wondering how? It's super simple. Let me walk you through it. Head back to the Developer tab in Excel. Click on the Macros button. This will open a list of all the macros available in your workbook. You'll see the Macro dialog box pop up, showing you all the macros you've created. Look for the one named Generate Book Item Numbers by page. That's the macro we just added. Once you've selected it, just hit the Run button. And boom, that's it. The macro will now automatically apply the numbering to your BOQ, fast, accurate, and hassle-free. All right, now let's make sure everything is working as it should. After running the macro, it's important to do a quick check for accuracy. Start by scrolling through your bill of quantities and confirming that the item numbers are appearing in the correct sequence and that they restart on each page if your macro is set up that way. Now here's something specific to watch out for. Make sure the numbering skips the letters I and O. These letters can easily be mistaken for the numbers 1 and 0, so the macro is designed to leave them out intentionally. Go through the sequence and double-check that the letters jump from H to J and from N to P, just to be sure. Also, check for any duplicates, missing numbers, or formatting glitches caused by merged cells or empty rows. If everything looks clean and consistent, great job! Your macro is working perfectly, and your BOQ is now numbered accurately and professionally. And that's it! A simple macro that makes a big difference in your Excel workflow. If you found this tip helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on practical Excel tricks made specifically for quantity surveyors. Got questions or want us to cover more Excel automations? Drop your thoughts in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.